Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. In today's video, talking about Bitcoin, blockchain and life from Sierra Nevada and Spain ski area. Of course, five amazing charts, trading tip, travel tip, live advice, talking about huge news, huge news for the Bitcoin family. You need to see this news. I will keep it till the end of the video because you need to watch this whole video to see this amazing news. And yes, also answering one of the questions of the followers. Let's walk onto the ski piece so you can see a little bit how beautiful Sierra Nevada is. Let's jump into the charts first and then the rest. Bam. The first chart of today, guys, is the four hour chart. Check how amazing. Again, that indicator on the bottom of here gave a long signal. Uh, from that long signal, we closed candles above the yellow stepping line. The blue line is above the uh, white line, and we can see the yellow turning into green. So that's a perfect four hour long. Is it going to be a big long? Probably first to 70K. And if we break that 70K, of course, then the resistance area here of 72K again. But it's amazing to see that Bitcoin is now floating around that 68K level. Yes, we had resistance. We broke it. There was support with this wick, with that wick. Here again, support. We broke it downwards and we came above it again. Now, I have a four more amazing charts that you need to see today, guys. This is the first chart. This chart is just showing you why it's very important to zoom out in Bitcoin. These are the Bitcoin corrections in history. 2011, we, the biggest correction was 94%. In 12, 56, 82, 79, 40, 87, 40. Yeah, you can just all see them. At the moment, 2024, the biggest correction is 14%. So, these corrections happen every year and still the Bitcoin price kept going up because if you would have worried about the correction over here in 2014 of 80% all the way back to $200, you should have bought that $200 Bitcoin, you would be the shit with a profit. If you would have bought the correction in 2018 all the way back down to 3K, you would have been the shit with a profit. Every time again and again, these corrections are there to buy. That's why I say always, stop crying start buying all these dips are not for crying these dips are for buying at the moment i missed 2023 i think 23 the biggest correction was also 60 percent and now 2024 we have a correction of 14 percent so yes do believe me there will be a few more corrections of maybe even 20 percent next chart this chart i found on a crypto crew university uh, the tweet of uh, steve Steve was saying the last time Bitcoin was in the zone of the two-week hybrid chart, it's very important to understand the two-week hybrid chart, 70% of the time the cycle top, 25% that was right before the cycle top, and 100% saw a major correction. So the bearish people or the bearish side of Bitcoin at the moment is that this blue line, which is Steve's hybrid indicator, is above that white line, mainly when we have a correction, when we see the top is in. This was a 2013 top, look, 2017 top, we touched it, 2020 top, we touched it. Now, here we are now, we are very high, we are just before this white line. Doesn't mean that we will see a correction or will this be a fake out, like over there or over there. And then we just get a little bit more bullish because of all the spot ETFs. So it's very difficult to analyze what is going to happen. But normally, when we touch this white line or just below the white line, we will see a correction. And we saw a correction uh, this weekend of 15 or 14 percent. So that's not a huge correction. Let's see what happens. But that can play out. And if you ask me, probably it will be a fake out like here. We were just a little bit more bullish, we come a little bit down, and then we go into the ultimate bull market top again to touch the line, or maybe even touch it twice, now and then again, because we are still in a bull market, in my honest opinion. Then we have the Bitcoin price, energy, gravity, energy mass. You can see over here that this uh, energy orange line is the line that the miners are prepared to pay for Bitcoin mining um, in dollars per kilowatt. So around 20 cents. This is when they break even the miners. Very important moment. When the Bitcoin price goes up, they are prepared to pay more for the energy because they are still making profit because the Bitcoin price is higher. They mine more Bitcoins at a higher level of price. So they're prepared to pay a little bit more energy. And the energy mass you can see is always in correlation with the price. 
even better that the price dips mostly when it dips to that energy mass in the bear market bottom every time so this combination can show you where we are at the bull market the moment the miners are prepared to pay a lot all the way up to a dollar you know uh, that is the moment when we see the tops here they were prepared to pay 40 cents that was the top now we are at 20 cents and my hollows are paying we can go like double from here to reach that 40 cent top before that we uh, see the end of the bull market interesting view i found the chart on twitter so uh, pause the video if you want to analyze it a little bit more a very important chart the bitcoin price history uh, we can see the tops 32 dollar 1200 dollar almost 20k 70k and we are now at 68k over here but this is the older chart of 9th of march so we should be now uh, saying around 75k already over here we can also see the bear market but dips 90 percent 80 percent 84 percent 77 percent i think the next dip will be somewhere in the 60 percent range i'm talking about the bear market dip that will come after we break the 100k level of course first time here from bottom to bottom 68 times bottom to bottom 21 times bottom to bottom five times what is going to be the next bottom to bottom if the bottom now was 16k 15,600 maybe if we go times two the next bottom will only be 30k but that means you won't be able to buy bitcoin anymore below 30k and i'm just saying times two because i'm going to divide this a little bit uh, and then we will reach the 30k bottom maybe in the future which would be very positive because that means that we have a very beautiful bottom price of 30k and we won't go lower with your capital anymore than that 30k times the amount of bitcoins that you have now we can still see the halving prices over here that was 12 dollar 648 8572 uh, this halving will be somewhere around 60k that was gonna happen in 23 days i think uh, somewhere 23 days yes yeah, the halving uh, in april so that's very interesting to see as well that we are increasing in halving prices this guys is going to continue the next four years we're going to go higher again the four years after that we are going to go higher again so it doesn't really matter if this is the top or the top will be above 100k or the top will be 200k or the crash will be 60 percent because every four year cycle <clears throat> we slowly move up higher i'm talking a little bit uh, softly guys because everyone in the house is still sleeping they have a holiday now the real life price gradient this is by plan b guys and plan b is stating very uh, clearly hey and um, the real life price is not climbing that fast it's only climbing around five percent per month and that's not really fast this moment that we're experiencing now that the real life price is climbing five percent per month you can see it's in the green area this is the moment that we saw just before let's go back here to 2013 just before the bull market in 2013 this is also the moment that we saw just before the bull market in 2017 here again that green climbing very slow also the moment before we saw that run to 14k here in 2019 and also green before that we saw that massive run in 2020 so this green is indicating hey we are just getting started the real estate price is only climbing up with five percent we still need to get red and yellow dots and every dot is representing a month here also red yellow red yellow we are missing the red yellow dots this is not the end of the bull market it is just the beginning of the bull market if you ask me i completely agree with plan b this is just the start the halving will happen in 2024 and we will take off from that moment to heights that we can't even imagine at the moment i hope you really enjoyed those charts guys yes always short-term volatility long-term just zoom out look at that bigger picture of bitcoin just um, as i'm looking at this bigger picture now in front of me check beautiful views over here that's the bigger picture 
amazing sunset here in Sierra Nevada. When it comes to Bitcoin, guys, it doesn't matter. The short-term volatility doesn't matter. The big picture matters. I told you, these dips of 10%, 20%, they will happen every time again and again and again. But this Bitcoin logo over there is telling you to buy that dip. The only thing you need to remember during these times is buy the Bitcoin dip because there will be a pump again to higher highs. And my trading tip will help you to make some profits on Sunday. So let's jump into the trading tip now. The trading tip for today, guys. Every time again and again on Sunday, we will crawl back to the CME gap. And the CME gap was 68K on Friday. We were at 66K on Sunday morning. We closed that CME gap around six o'clock in Europe to 68K again. Why is this happening? Because we are creating a gap. And that's a very important moment. Every week and again on Sunday, we will try to come close to the closing of the CME on Friday. Friday, we closed at 68K. We were volatile, we did dip. We fell down to 68K, even 65K. And now we are up again back to the CME gap around 68K. That is how it every time plays out and again and again and again. And I'm also gonna answer one of the questions of the followers because that has to do, of course, with the spot ETFs. But I will keep that to a little bit later. Yes, it's of course a little bit cold over here, but still managing, guys. Now, the question that one of the followers asked was about the spot ETFs. Didi, do these spot ETF companies also buy Bitcoin in the weekends? No, they don't. They don't trade in the weekends. And they're also not accumulating Bitcoins during the weekend to sell them on Monday. Because they will only buy Bitcoins the moment their clients ask them to buy Bitcoins. On Monday, when all the trading again starts, the clients will tell them, hey, we want more Bitcoins in the portfolio. And that is the moment that the spot ETF companies like BlackRock or ARK Investment will start and buy more Bitcoins. They don't trade in the weekend. Will this now also lead to a sort of a spot ETF gap? I don't think that will be happening because the spot ETF will just buy Bitcoin at the price that it will be at that moment for their clients. The CME gap though is one that is influencing the price on Sunday. Spot ETF, I don't think so, but the answer to the question is they are not buying spot ETF Bitcoins in the weekend. In Monday morning that starts again and it is Sunday evening in Europe. So that was the answer to the question. The travel tip for the day guys. Visit Sierra Nevada, Spain. This is just an amazing ski area. Also in summer, of course, for hiking and walks, it's beautiful, but the winters are amazing. You have a lot of ski pieces. It's not the biggest area. It's not like Val Thorin or one of the big ones in Austria or Switzerland, but it's big enough if you're a beginner to mediate. Even advanced skiers have a lot of black pieces over here, guys. It's a beautiful area with beautiful pieces and always beautiful weather. The sun is shining. My face is getting even more blacker here than it is getting like in Thailand. Look how beautiful the sunset every time. There's a lot of beautiful hotels. This is one of the most beautiful hotels over here, Meribel, beautiful place to stay. You know, even in the evenings, people go here onto the piece. The pieces are closed now, but all the parents have fun, of course, with the kids. They are sliding their sleighs and all the stuff. The village is down there, and that is also full with restaurants, full with bars. We already had a couple of drinks over there and some bars, uh, and also, of course, good food. The real Spanish tapas restaurants, but also like just normal beef and also just like other stuff. Sierra Sierra Nevada is an amazing place. It's just magical to see the snow line over here. And if you look to that, it's completely green. It's green, it's green. And if you go behind that hill, you will find Granada, a beautiful town. It's a one hour drive and you can of course always visit that if you want to do some shopping. But Sierra Nevada is a beautiful place, guys. Must see ski area if you ask me. Yes, I'm skiing, not snowboarding. Uh, skiing is a little bit more fun for me because I don't fall that many times on my ass. And snowboarding is just like, pff, I tried it. I can do a blue piste, but red gets a little bit more difficult and uh, yeah, I will uh, really hit my ass a few times doing snowboarding. So I will keep it to skiing. Yeah, it's 45 years old. I skied almost 30 years of my life. I will keep it to skiing. Yeah. Jessa, Julie and Juna also having a shitload of fun all skiing here every day. We are gonna stay here for around three weeks. I know it's a little bit longer than normal people go. Normal people go like and visit a week. We will still stay three weeks because we, I want to breathe the fresh air now uh, after Thailand, the hot air. Now we have the fresh, cool air here of Sierra Nevada. We are enjoying ourselves to the fullest and you will be enjoying yourself as well if you visit Sierra Nevada. It's just very beautiful, guys. It's just magical, magical, magical. Let's jump into the next part. 
The inspirational part for the day, guys, is a very simple life tip. Change your surroundings now and then. I know if you run the hamster wheel, you get stuck. You get stuck in a vicious circle of doing the same thing every day, again and again and again. And then you just get used to it and you don't believe that there's anything else anymore. Just switch now and then from your surrounding. Please go to beautiful mountain areas. Please go to the beach. Please go to areas that you don't spend 24 seven, like 52 weeks a year in. Change the views. When you look at this, your perspective about the world will change. It's not that tiny circle that you're running around in, that city with the same gym, with the same job, with the same supermarket, with the same cashier at the supermarket, with the same, every time, same, same, same. It, it's, like a, it's like a recording repeating itself 24 seven, every time again and again and again. You need to break that circle now and then to get an older perspective of the world, of life, of everything else. Like me now, for example, here on this beautiful mountain, looking so far as I can, the sunset, all the kids and families playing here in the sleighs, it gives me a ton of new ideas, new inspiration, new air that I breathe. It's just completely different. And that makes life just a little bit more beautiful. Because I don't want to run that hamster wheel 24 seven. I don't want to see the same cashier every day again and again. I don't want to see the job every day again and again, that office building, that same street, that traffic light that I already know how many seconds it will take till the traffic light is jumping into red or green or orange. I don't like that. Yes, I almost slipped there. <laughs> and that would have been fun. If I now would have fell, oh, that would have been a video, but that is what I don't like. I like, I like this, the change of view. And I can handle it a couple of months in Thailand, but then I need to move again to, for example, Spain, and maybe to Portugal or Mexico or Africa or any other country in the world. I just want to see different ways of life. How do other people live? How do other views look like? Just check this view. I'm going to turn around the camera. This is the view. This is different than Thailand. This is different than Portugal. It's a different view. Look how far in the back you see these small towns. If you are here in these heights on this mountain, you will realize how small we really are. Like there's millions of people living there on the bottom of these mountains. It's everyone lives their own life. But you should sometimes zoom out, look at that bigger picture and understand that we are just very tiny compared to the world, even more small if you compare it to the universe but that will make you feel alive again. Just change the surrounding now and then. And now finally I'm here to tell you the biggest news. The big news is that I'm finally here to reveal that the Bitcoin Family Series is going live on the 5th of April on Amazon Prime. It will go live on the 5th of April in the Benelux, which is Netherlands, Belgium and Luxembourg. They have an exclusive right to go live for one month. And after that, it will go live internationally with, of course, uh, subtitles, etc. We did it. We have been followed for over three years all over the world, showing how we live the Bitcoin family life unbanked, how we share our profits with poor people, and it was all recorded. How I advised my brother and my sister to sell their house on the perfect moment to buy that Bitcoin bottom around 16K and go all in, the same we did. Everything has been filmed for the last three years that June to Spanker followed me. And the news articles are going out now in the Netherlands. Soon you will see also beautiful news articles in international news because it's going to be the first time ever that a Bitcoin family has been followed and it will be shown live on Amazon Prime, which is at the moment the biggest streaming platform of the world. I can't be more proud than I am at the moment because it was recordings with ups and downs, guys. There was very difficult moments because it is giving up your whole privacy to a camera crew that's following you for three years. But as a family, we did it. We pulled it off. Three daughters, my wife, I, and even the buying of a little gay dog will be in it. We didn't know he was gay when we bought it, but now, yeah, apparently he is gay. He even walks in the snow like, uh, like this. But we did it. We are going to go live on Amazon Prime 
internationally. We will first start one month in all the Dutch speaking countries. So 5th of April, Amazon Prime, the Bitcoin family live. That was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, then please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about these amazing views? What do you think about changing your surroundings? What do you think about the charts, the travel tips, and everything else? Thanks for watching. I wish you an amazing Monday, and see you tomorrow morning again. Bam.